It's Dragon Ball Super Episode Notes with Kan Zenshu. Episode 2. Onward to the promised resort. Vegeta goes on a family trip? The first episode of Dragon Ball Super began with a recap of the big battle with Majin Buu. The music that played in the background was a new composition, but it was an arrangement of Cha La Head Cha La, the first opening theme to Dragon Ball Z. It seems like this tune is going to be our recap music going forward, so thanks to composer Norihito Sumitomo there for the nice little touch. Gregory is present during this episode alongside Kaio and Bubbles here. Gregory was not present in the manga, however he actually was developed and designed by Akira Toriyama. During the production of the Dragon Ball Z TV series, Toei staff came to Toriyama and said, hey, we need another character, and this is who he came up with. Of course, this then leads into the big question, is Super a canon? Cause Gregory is here. We won't make that call. If you know Kaio at all, he is always making puns. The joke here, heiwa ga heiwa. His jokes are set in this kind of structure where it's X is X, and the words are homophones, words that sound alike. The joke here, because we're in a time of peace, it comes out to something like, hooray, peace. Perhaps the best and maybe most subtle joke in the entire episode are the two fruits sticking out of Vegeta's head here during Bulma's rather aggressive flight. The two fruits here are a pomelo, which is zabon in Japanese, do you get where this is going? And the other one is a durian, which serves as the basis for another character's name pun. Yes, these fruits are Zarbon and Dodoria. Not literally, of course. As we see with the flashback footage right in the episode itself, Vegeta's family vacation is kind of based on this line from Chapter 429, Episode 207, where Vegeta promises to take Trunks to an amusement park if he manages to punch him. Speaking of Zarbon, here's an interesting connection. This guy trying to convince Vegeta to come up on stage? Voice actor for the guy is Hiroaki Miura, who is the replacement voice actor for Zarbon in Dragon Ball Kai. When discussing the winged dinosaur's meat, Whis notes that it has a good reputation in Universe 7. This is actually the first mention in the entire series, if you're going chronologically and possibly taking things out of context in context. How are things going to play out here? Uh, it's the first reference to the 12 universes that exist in the larger dragon world. You may remember at the very end of Battle of Gods is when Beerus gives us the big reveal that there are actually 12 universes out there and everything that we have seen happen takes place in Universe 7. As we've learned from Toriyama since then, and as hinted to in the opening theme to the series, we will indeed be heading off to Universe 6 to fight our neighbors, apparently, later on. There you go, those are some of the things we noticed in Episode 2 of Dragon Ball Super. We hope you're enjoying these videos. Be sure to also check out our Episode Notes video for the opening to Dragon Ball Super, Chozetsu Dynamic. Enjoy, and we'll see you next time.